Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on connecting your local Active Directory to Microsoft Enter ID. If you are ready to make user management easier, improve security, and give users a smoother sign-on experience, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, we'll cover setting up a custom domain, syncing users, automating licenses, enabling self-service password reset, and configuring single sign-on. So, let's dive in. First up, open your web browser and head over to admin.microsoft.com. Log in with your global administrator account. This is where we'll start the setup. Once you're logged in, navigate to the setup section and start a custom domain setup wizard. Adding a custom domain is a crucial step. It makes your organization's identity more rec recognizable and sets you up for a professional user experience. Enter your domain name and select the options to verify it manually by creating DNS records. This verifies that you own the domain and helps us get everything connected. Next, it's time to prove ownership of your domain. Open your DNS management console and create the txt record with the provided txt value. This step confirms that you have control over the domain. Once you have created the txt record, head back to the wizard and click verify. This will check that everything is set up correctly. Now, choose add DNS records to configure any services you want to use, like Exchange or Teams. Follow the instructions to create each required DNS record. And just a quick note, DNS changes can take a few minutes to a few hours to update across the internet, so if things don't appear immediately, it's likely just a matter of waiting. With the domain set up, it's time to sync users. So go back to the setup and select Add or Sync Users to Microsoft Enter ID. This will let us keep your local Active Directory in sync with Enter ID, so users don't have to manage separate accounts. Here you will have a choice between Entra Cloud Sync and Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. For most setups, Microsoft recommends Cloud Sync. It's easier to configure, supports multiple agents, and is generally more resilient. So that's what we'll use for this tutorial. Select Entra Cloud Sync and let's get it set up. Now download the provisioning agent. Uh, in my home lab setup, I'm installing it directly on my domain control for simplicity and because it's a small environment with limited resources. However, according to Microsoft's best practices, it's recommended to install the provisioning agent on a separate member server that's joined to your domain, not on the domain controller. This approach enhances security and performance in production environments. The provisioning agent is what keeps the user data flowing smoothly between your Active Directory and Entry ID. So whether you're in a lab environment like mine or setting up in a production environment, ensure you consider, consider the best practices for your specific situation. If you hit an Internet Explorer error during authentication, don't worry about it. Just go to Server Manager. Disable EA enhanced security configuration for at least the administrators and try again. This is a common issue and it's easy to fix. Next, enter your domain administrator account details. Make sure it's an account with the right permissions. Once you've entered your credentials, add your directory by entering the same credentials again. This finalizes the setup and connects the agent to Enter ID. In the installation wizard, click Manage Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync to configure your sync settings. Create a new synchronization configuration from your Active Directory to Entra ID. Select the installed agent and ensure password hash sync is enabled. This will keep user passwords synchronized across systems. By default, all users are synced, but you can limit synchronization to specific organizational units or OUs. For example, if you only want to sync a specific group of users, 
you can limit the sync to a particular OU. Go to your Active Directory, copy the distinguished name of your OU and paste it into the scoping filters. This will ensure only the users in that OU are synced. Before we start syncing, make sure each user account has the correct email and proxy address attributes. The primary email should be marked with SMTP in uppercase and the aliases with SMTP in lowercase. If your public domain doesn't match the local UPN, add it under alternative UPN suffixes in Active Directory domain interests, then update the user login name. This will ensure their usernames match across platforms. Let's test the sync by provisioning a single user. Copy the user's distinguished name and start the provisioning. If you get a join not found error, check that the user is in the correct OU. Move the user if needed, update the distinguished name and try again. This test will confirm that the sync is working correctly. Now let's set up licensing. We'll create a security group called Entra Licensing Business Premium. By adding users to this group, we can automatically assign them the right Microsoft 365 licenses. Enable the Cloud Sync configuration to start syncing according to your settings. The initial sync might take a little while, depending on your directory size, so be patient. You can monitor the progress in the audit logs to ensure everything is working smoothly. Now let's assign licenses to the security group. In the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, go to Billing, then Licenses. Select the desired license, switch to the Groups tab, and assign licenses to the security group. Confirm the assignment and wait a few minutes for it to take effect. This will ensure all users in the group have the license applied automatically. To allow users to reset their own passwords, go to entra.microsoft.com, navigate to protection and select password reset. Enable self-service password reset for the Entra ID licensing business premium group. This ensures only licensed users can reset their passwords. Users will also be prompted to configure multi-factor authentication and provide a mobile phone number for verification. And that's it. We have set up a custom domain, synced our users, automated licensing, enabled self-service password reset, and configured single sign-on. You're now all set for a more seamless, secure user experience that saves time and effort for everyone. To provide a seamless sign-on experience for users, let's enable single sign-on with CloudSync. This allows users to log in once to access multiple sources without needing to re-authenticate. Start by downloading Microsoft Entra Connect from the official website. We're not going to install it directly, instead run the installer to extract the files to our directory, like C program files, and then cancel the installation when prompted. Next, open PowerShell with administrative privileges and navigate to the directory where the files were extracted. Import the Azure AD SSO PowerShell module by running import-module-azure-adso.psd1. This will load the necessary tools for SSO configuration. Establish an authentication with Entra ID by running new-azure-ad-sso-authentication-context. Sign in with your Entra ID Global Administrator account when prompted. Then enable SSO for Active Directory Forest by running the following command. 
enter your local admin domain administrator credentials when prompted. And finally, run the following command. So you can finalize the setup. Confirm that a new computer account named Azure AD SSO ACC has been created in Active Directory. This account facilitates the single sign-on process. To complete single sign-on, we'll configure group policy. Open Group Policy Management Console and create a new Group Policy object. Next, navigate to User Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Windows Component, Internet Explorer, Internet Control Panel, panel Security Page. Here you can enable Site to Zone Assignment List and add the following entry value name. You also want to enable Allow Updates to Status Bar via Script to ensure seamless operation. Link the GPO to the OU containing your synced users. Microsoft recommends using Cloud Sync with Cloud Kerberos Trust for even better integration. I've, cre I've created a detailed guide on setting this up, which you can find on my website. Follow the instructions to register the Cloud Kerberos Trust, and after completing the steps, a new Azure AD Kerberos object will appear under your domain controllers. Thank you for joining me on this comprehensive guide to setting up Microsoft Entry ID with your local Active Directory. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Until next time!